Hi, in this video I will show you my 3D printer setup and also the enclosure that I made for it um, because I have the printer sitting in my living room and it's quite loud so that's why I made a wooden enclosure for it to keep the noise level to a minimum and here you can already see it's just a wooden box that I made myself and the hull is made out of three layers so it dampens all the noises and vibration that are coming from the printer really well and i quickly show you the concept of it so as you can see the darker wood is the outer layer it's just some wood then i have here you can see it behind the hinges quite well this is stone wool you can use other substances quite well but stone wool works pretty well um, for dampening noises and then the third layer is this brighter colored wood which covers all of the inside and yeah I got all the materials in the hardware store most hardware stores you can buy the wood and they pre-cut the wood to your dimensions that you want so basically I made just a plan with the box and the dimensions which yeah you pre-calculate what you need and they pre-cut the wood for you bring it home and then you start building the box and of course also fill the inside with stone wool and this works pretty well dampens the noise quite significantly you can't hear the fans of the printer and the vibrations are also very minimal and what I did to additionally dampen the noise is I put the printer on this stone bed, which is quite massive. And this is placed on the anti-vibration mat. It's normally used for washing machines. You can also get it at a hardware store. And the inner hull that you can see here, this wooden plate, is also sitting on the anti-vibration mat. So this gets rid of most of the vibrations that are quite loud and then of course when you close the box like this it will get really hot inside because the printer is heating up so I had to drill a hole back here and also on the top here to get rid of the hot air as you can already see I have here a box um, it goes back to the outside to the hole I drilled and here I have a fan, also here. So this um, sucks all the hot air and blows it out there in this hole on the top here and sucks fresh air in here. And with this you can control the temperature inside the box really well, which is quite handy. And then we come to the printer itself. It will get replaced by a new one tomorrow. That's also the reason why I make this video, to show it before I tear everything down. And as you can already see, this printer was really busy. It has printed almost 11 kilometers of filament over the last four years. And it was printing 140 days of continuous printing time. So yeah, very good printer. Yeah. Prusa i3 Mark 3S, really good printer, but yeah, now it is time to upgrade to a new one that you will see then. And also I made some slight modifications to it. Um, normally the power supply of the printer sits here, but I've uh, I placed the power supply to the outside, right here, so it doesn't get too hot and replaced it with a 3D printer bracket for stability. So now I have removed my old printer and here you can see the original cooling solution, even better. These are just two fans, 80 millimeter PC fans right inside here. And yeah, this whole duct was placed inside the hole here and was blowing the air out as you can see and now that i've removed it you can see the three layers even better so you see back there the outer layer the outer wood then here this is all stone wool 
that's sitting between the two wood layers and of course the inner layer. And this ensures really good dampening. And now I just have to wait for my new printer to arrive and then I will place it in here. So here it is, my new printer in its new home, sitting in the box already for a couple of days. I've used it now extensively over the last few days and I'm very satisfied with it. It's a Bamboo Lab P1S printer and it is literally at least double as fast as my old printer which is really helpful for me because I'm printing a lot of stuff and cutting down the print time this much is really awesome. I mean I can show you how fast it moves. Ah. It's really awesome to have such a fast printer. That's the main reason why I replaced it. And I've also changed the cooling solution a bit. I've basically simplified it. As you can see on the top here, I've just taken one of the two fans as an exhaust right on the hole. And on the bottom, I've taken the other fans as, uh, yeah, as an intake. And yeah, um, I've connected it to a, just a 5 volt USB power supply, uh, so they are running quiet. And if I close the door, you can probably hear that you don't hear a lot, because yeah, with a closed door, it is really, really quiet, even quieter with my, than with my old printer. Which is a good thing if you have your printer in your living room. So it can be running all day and it doesn't disturb me. And yeah, that's it for this video. Hope that gave you some inspirations if you're trying to build something like that yourself. And thanks for watching. Have a nice day and goodbye.